The Legend of the Lay Tree Some eight or ten miles to the west of the town of Shillong is seen a prominent hill range, a place much renowned in Khasi folklore. It is known as the Mountain of the Lay Tree and is a very romantic spot even in the present day, although divested of its former reputed glory. Its slopes are studded with thriving villages and cultivated fields, and at its foot, the river Umayam, the Wailing River, curves its dolorous way to the plains, at times leaping over rugged precipices, scattering its spray in the sunshine, at other times lying almost motionless in the bosom of a valley reflecting the beauty of myriad trees in its clear depths. According to tradition, this hill and the land around it was the most fertile land in the world. Broad acres lay under cultivation and its forest yielded the largest and most valuable timber. It was also famous for the grandeur of its scenery, fairies and nymphs were said to have their haunts in its green glades. Birds of lovely hues lived there and made their nest amid flowers of sweetest scent. Their happy maidens loved to roam and their young lovers met and plighted the troth. Such was the mountain of the lay tree in the days of the ancients. On the summit of the mountain, there grew a tree of fabulous dimensions, the lay tree, which dwarfed even the largest trees in forest. It was of a species unique, such a mankind had never known. Its thick outspread branches were so clustered with leaves that the light of the sun could not penetrate through, and the earth beneath its shadow became barren and unfruitful. The fame of the tree spread abroad and people from many lands came to see it. But there were none who dared to cut a twig or to scratch its bark, as it was commonly believed that the tree 